Canada's military is in crisis, and those at the highest levels know they are untouchable. General Vance is under police investigation, but that didn't stop the boys from enjoying a round of golf. This brazen act by two of the military's most senior commanders is a public declaration. They are neither impartial nor think the rules apply to them. The problem starts at the top of the chain of command with this defence minister. When will he admit he has failed in his duties as minister? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, we're absolutely committed to making sure that we have that culture change so that everybody who joins the Canadian Armed Forces have a, uh, a, a, a place to work free from harassment. And as I stated, Mr. Speaker, the Acting Chief of Defence Staff is currently reviewing this matter very closely as it falls within his responsibility in the chain of command and that the Acting Chief of Defence Staff has informed me that the Vice Chief of the, the, uh, the Vice Chief of Defence Staff is no longer in his role, effective immediately. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Aurora Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. And yet, Mr. Speaker, despite months of devastating testimony and four generals under police investigation, the old boys club is stronger than ever. General Rouleau has the power to intervene in military police investigations, and golfing with Vance sends a clear message that the fix is in. Vance and the senior military brass are untouchable. By turning a blind eye, the defense minister ensures that the military's toxic culture can continue unchecked. Will the minister admit he's part of the problem and not part of the solution. Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, our members and employees deserve an institution that which is uh, they, they can have full confidence with. And I've been working from day one to making sure that we create the institutional culture chain that is absolutely necessary. And that's why in a statement from the Canadian Forces Provost Marshal, he clarified, clarified with in regards to an ongoing uh, military police investigation involving sexual misconduct, that he has complete independence from the chain of command in the conduct of policing duties. And that said, Mr. Speaker, as I stated, uh, the Acting Chief of Defence Staff has informed me that the Vice Chief of Defence Staff um, uh, ha has stepped down. 